A man is accused of kidnapping and killing his girlfriend. Tonight, the suspect's mother speaks with Cake News. No, just didn't see it coming. Just didn't see this coming. There was no way to see that coming. The mother of Darnell Hall says she just can't believe her son killed 23-year-old Sabrina Guerrero Newman. Newman was originally reported missing by the Wichita police early Friday morning. Her body was found in northeast Wichita on hydraulic. The man accused of killing her, Darnell Hall, was picked up at a grocery store on Harry and Edgemore and was booked pending first-degree murder charges. Cakes Brian Ramsdale spoke with Hall's mother about the murder. It's tonight's big story. Brian? Mike, while most people are thinking about the victim's family and what they're dealing with, there are others that are deeply hurt by this crime. The family of Don Darnell Hall are apologizing in the wake of this homicide. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. There were just, just them two here. Laverne Ellsbury is the mother of Darnell Hall, the man booked into jail, facing charges of first-degree murder and the death of 23-year-old Sabrina Guerrero Newman. It's just so hurtful because, you know, everybody that came in contact with Sabrina liked that she was just that type of person. Ellsbury was hoping that after three years of dating, Sabrina and Hall would get married. Now she is apologizing. I'm so sorry for what he did to her. Do you believe your son's guilty of this? I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. But I, I do know that she's gone. The girl is gone. Sabrina, gone. I do know that. Ellsbury says she received multiple phone calls from her son around 11 a.m., about four hours before police found Sabrina's body. Yeah, he wouldn't tell me. I kept asking him where was it, and he wouldn't tell me. He said that he couldn't tell me. And, and I knew something was wrong. But I couldn't get, you know, nothing out of her. And I knew something was wrong. You, a mother knows. Hall's mother and sister are still in shock, trying to figure out how this crime happened. He loved her. Something happened. And we don't know what. Nobody knows what. And, you know, but him, and she can't, she can't tell he can't tell it. Ellsbury told me that Darnell is still her son. No matter where this investigation leads, she will continue to love him. But the process of understanding what happened and coping with that is going to be a process just going day by day. Obviously, they feel badly about what happened to her, but she, of course, still loves her son. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those tough situations that the families just get thrown into. They, I talked with neighbors today. They said, you know, Darnell was a good guy to their neighborhood. They never really had any issues with him. So this just comes to a shock to, you know, everyone. To everyone. All right. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Well, I, we also caught up with Sabrina Guerrero and Newman's family today. They're, of course, grieving the loss of their loved one. Cars line the block near the family's home where family and friends are stopping by to give their condolences. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear from the victim's sister about how Sabrina will be remembered and the questions they have that are left unanswered.